and welcome to Nuggets of Wisdom. This is David Shermer and I'd like to share with you some insights and understanding around areas of my expertise such as the stock market and commodity markets. Also uh, w wealth creation and uh, and business and, and mindset and so on. And one of the things that uh, I think is in, in the news a lot at the moment is what happened in Japan and uh, and what's going to happen with the world economy after the tsunami and the uh, and the earthquake that's happened there and of course there's a lot of journalists that are saying that this is going to be doom and gloom to the economy and uh, and, and creating a lot of fear with people and I don't believe in that and, uh, and, and the only reason they do that is to sell newspapers to sell advertising to get ratings on TV it's sad but it's true so I want to share with you from a uh, from a real perspective of what's happening in the stock market and um, particularly in Japan this here is a monthly chart of the Nikkei index which is the main Tokyo main exchange in Japan the Tokyo Stock Exchange the main index of the top 225 stocks and each one of these vertical lines is one month and so you can see it goes from 1982 right through to current this last big red bar is the decline we had last week in the uh, in the Japanese market now some things I want to uh, help you to understand of why I don't believe that uh, that the the hype around depression and around um, economic collapse is actually got any validity and uh, and, and uh, you'll notice that this market had its lowest point in 1982 over this whole period that rose up to 1988 and then fell for many years and uh, and, and Japanese business and stocks uh, have have suffered a hammering and made their lowest price in 2008 and so that's a an extraordinary decline down but one of the things that I notice with this chart if you look right down the very bottom and I'll lift this chart up for you here is the low in 2008 happened on the first of uh, the first of October 2008 it actually made another low at almost the same price sorry that was 1982 the low in 1982 almost exactly the same price in 2008 and then the same price in 2009 I've, I've, I've drawn these double red lines here to show you that that there is a triple bottom now it's it's one of the strongest support um, for for a stock when a stock comes down and goes to the same price three times it's extremely high support now what that means if it comes down there again um, then it's more likely to bounce off uh, bounce off that strong support but it never broke through it here and it's unlikely to come down through that the fourth time and uh, uh, it is extremely unlikely in fact and it's one of the reasons why I believe that the Japanese stock market gives us a huge potential for profit and investing over the next years in fact over over the next two decades probably one of the strongest uh, growth uh, in economy around the world I won't go into that right now but let me just show you very quickly um, the, the the cycles in this market now this low in 2008 was actually the end of what's called a 54 year cycle if you want to study a little bit on that have a look at the Kondratiev wave and uh, and, and and that's a cycle it's 54 years long approximately it has a plus or minus factor so this was a little bit longer than 54 years it was from 1945 through to 2008 but that was the end of a very long cycle now there are small cycles I want to show you that this is the uh, this cycle here is a 62 month cycle and from the low here I've actually drawn this gray box in the middle of that is 62.4 months and it's plus and minus the sixth either side which when you understand cycles you understand why we look at that but that gives us the greatest probability of when a market will make its next low next significant decline and so you'll see it declined down into this point here then it rose all the way up and the next major low was again in this gray box here 
It rose up and come down and then went and it made a significant low just a month after this uh, this grey box again. Rose all the way up and made this another extreme low in 2003 in this inside the grey box and then all the way up and in 2008 did it exactly the same here. And of course we can see that the next significant decline is going to finish in, in between early 2013 to late 2014. Now we can refine that to a matter of weeks and even days with some more analysis. We don't have time to do that here. I'm showing you this to show you why the, the market, why the Japanese stock market will most likely not go down much further and, and, and why that the world economy is not in a bad shape compared to what most people say. Now I've been saying for a couple of years now that that it's uh, that unlike many of the doomsayers the American economy is actually looking quite good compared with uh, what it was back in 2007 that's another story we might get into that another week but so here's the 60 odd 62 month cycle and then we see that there's that uh, we, we put the uh, next cycle here uh, inside of this cycle is a 31 month cycle so the grey box is the 62 month cycle and then there's a 31 month cycle and you see the market goes up <coughs> excuse me, and falls down into these periods over and over again almost exactly every single time in fact it's over a 90% probability for this particular market look what happened here now the, 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 the fast decline we just had was actually predictable because there's our cycle we know it's going to make a major decline into this period and it hadn't and then all of a sudden um, amazingly it coincided with uh, natural events and it's fallen down into that period right there and so uh, so so there's the, the 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 trough now what's most likely to happen from here is from for this to actually rise up and uh, and start to have another bull phase now, I, again, we don't have time to go into that completely, but let me show you some of the smaller cycles that are at play here as well. Now, what I'm showing you here is what's called cycle analysis. is what we teach people in our professional traders workshop. It's the most valuable tool I've ever come across in knowing where the market's going and, and, and where is the safest time to buy and sell stocks. Don't have time to explain it all right now, but what I've put in here, this this tiny pink cycle right here, is the one coming up, the next decline that we'll have. And what I'm looking for now is this market to rise up and actually make a higher trough than the trough we've just had. If it does that, then I know that this market is in its next bull phase, and we can expect a very strong rise after that. So. That's just a little glimpse, and the biggest reason why this market won't go down any further, I say won't, it's very unlikely, there's, uh, there's, it's never impossible, but it's extremely unlikely because of this triple bottom across here, and this is the end of the 54-year cycle. Therefore, it's, it's extremely improbable for the price to drop down below the low in 2008, um, which is 6,994 odd from memory. And so from there, from now, it should continue to, to rise up. So I trust this has been helpful, that, you, uh, that you've uh, learned some information. And, um, and uh, if you w would like to know more, if you don't already uh, aren't already part of some of the things we do, this website, go to this website, it's called the signpost to freedom.com. That's actually our free download of my two and a half day workshop on the science of getting rich. And uh, you can get it and listen to it. It's great for mindset and also understanding about wealth. If you want to know more about some of our workshops, you can either send me an email or go and visit tradingedge.com.au. Um, also, uh, if you uh, want to follow some of the information I post up on my blog, it's thesecret.com.au, and I post from time to time there. But uh, more importantly, shoot me an email. If you've got some questions about different markets, about stocks, uh, from anywhere around the world, shoot me an email and I'll respond to it. If I don't respond straight away, please send it again. But my, my email is david at tradingedge.com.au. I hope that's helpful and look forward to sharing with you some more nuggets of wisdom.